Welcome back to Book of Dawn, IOTH Academy, tormented by gnomes, your humble game master, joined again after the break by Crowen, Leg Day, and Lemon Kiwi. When last we left our heroes, they were planning on how to deal with a member of an important subversive group outside the academy that has been revealed to be an infernal pawn, only to get a key lead on one of Alexander's dark academy members who's currently in the designer city of Defraxis. That is their only lead so far on finding the Book of Dawn upon which the fate of the entire academy hinges. Just as they were discussing next steps and forming some plans, an explosion rocked the building beneath their feet, and the weary put-upon archmages of the academy stood up from the table to go deal with whatever the hell is happening now. Before we get back to it, does anybody have any questions, anything need, anything from me? Nope. Oh. Explain the bang, old man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, when a mommy and a daddy, or a mommy and a mommy, well, or a daddy, or a daddy, or when when two people love each other very much, I would like to be mind wiped. <laughs> <laughs> There's Obliviax Moss available. Uh, talk to the quarter for every about that. So everybody gets up and starts heading, running outside the into the hallway. And making their way through and get, getting uh, sending spells from wardens and such. Make your way out onto a balcony, assuming that you're all going along. And you see fireballs just going off midair, streaming from the top of Tarselmoor Hall. Why the is it? Fuck? Always Tarsamore Hall. Okay. They make for the nearest secret closet, invoke the teleportation circle, and the entire weight of the Archmages of the school and the three most dangerous students at the school emerges from the Hall of Records. Again, let me know if you're not going along with it at any point. Emerges from uh, the I, Hall I just noted that uh, the crystal ball has not been left unattended. Noted. Everyone rushes through. The moment that you get into Tarselmoor, there's wardens everywhere, there's students everywhere. I'd like insight checks or perception checks from everybody, please. Your choice. 12. Uh... 25. And a 9. Okay. Mantra. You're yes. getting two distinct vibes here. And it's very strange. The vibes One, are off. The vibes are <laughs> off. <laughs> Rancid vibes. <laughs> you, on the one hand, there's fear and panic. The, oh God, it's happening again. What now? What new divine power is descending upon us to smite all of us? And... The other vibe is much more excited, like, ooh, come see what's happening. What's going on? So there's this mix of, of fear and excitement, depending on who you talk to. Confusion, miscommunication, lack of information. But it doesn't all seem... I guess that wasn't too helpful. Those are the vibes. Just from random people in Tarselmore Hall? Yeah, from students rushing past, getting pushed away by wardens. Uh, some of them looking shocked. Just, oh, God, not again. And none of you got super high on a perception check, so none of you quite overhear what it is. And this is not a special holiday or having mm -mm. fireworks vibes. Correct. I mean, well, it's not supposed to be. But when the spells were going off, they were streaking from the top of the landing platform into the air. They weren't blowing up the school. They weren't, like, raining down on anybody. They were just boom, boom, boom. So fireworks vibes. Yeah, like, but unplanned oh. fireworks. Okay. Uh, I mean, as we're walking along, I guess Mantra will kind of just say flatly, people are excited about something. Oh, yay, another chance to die horribly. I, too, am absolutely stoked. Yeah, I wouldn't think that'd be the reaction, so it must... I, I mean, I don't... I don't know. Let's figure it out. Why weren't we invited to the party? <laughs> you make your way up to the landing platform. A huge crowd of students is being held back by a wall of caretakers and wardens. 
who have performed, who have created a safe perimeter at the far edge of the landing platform, where a seven, maybe eight foot tall creature with the head of a boar absolutely ripped, just a huge Dorito shaped boar headed man wearing a kilt is pawing at the ground and flexing and yelling really loudly. Meanwhile, on either side, willowy creatures with skin of bark wearing masks of scorched, uh, scorched, polished wood are just shooting fireballs into the air. Is this the guy from Demon Slayer? <laughs> Uh, no, no, we, 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 we couldn't get those rights. Oh, Beep knows I'm talking. Thank God someone got that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, we- <laughs> the weebs go for aid and she will answer. <laughs> the beacons are lit. Beautiful mortals! Who will face me in the fairy games? For the honor and glory of your school! Oh, we just we just let anyone here. Uh, we- <laughs> it, it, is this Morco? It's not Morco. No, not Morco the Great Boar. Uh, no, it's Morco's the Great Bear. This is some boar-headed. <laughs> Probably a fey. Like you, you definitely. This looks like fey nonsense. <laughs> what is going on here? What? El now. Fairy games are even a thing. I don't know. Literally face palms and just her wings sag. Her entire frail, you know, form just. <sighs> Untermaller, will you just deal with this? Puts a hand on into <laughs> Do you want me to handle this? I, I can handle this. I can handle this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold <laughs> guard. You, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Just having this macho match with into Mommy, <laughs> I, I, I need the book. <laughs> Garnet, if you obliterate this person, it will be considered an act of war. What have I done that's not an act of war? <laughs> Gotta be right. a war to have war. <laughs> that's exactly the point. Perhaps it is time for a new approach. No, I do you feel like wrestling. With magic? No. Oh. Very specifically yeah. not with magic. No, I don't think that's your fault of the champ. Shut up. Brain is more important than brawn. This on your screen right now is the creature. Oh. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, not as hot as I was expecting. <laughs> Apologies. We at IF Academy would like to send our sincere apology for the unhotness of the monsters. Anybody who has done face studies of any kind, actually, anybody can make a nature check here if you have any knowledge specific to the Fae. The wild fae, this would be of benefit. Everything oh. is Untermaller now. All Untermaller all the time. Second time I've done this. That's what Mama Shimada lives for. This is, this is <laughs> a special episode. Okay, this is uh, Scrofin. <laughs> they seek to find worthy challengers for a wrestling challenge. Uh, they are duty bound to make others aware of their incredible natural gifts. They seek an honorable battle. That's their highest goal. Uh, they're always good-natured opponents, unless you cheat, in which case they lose their mind and, and kill you. And I've completely lost control of the situation. I will have you know, <laughs> this thing is from one of the Cobalt Press monster books. I didn't name it. Yeah, this thing is from between Morco's legs. 
Great. Yeah, totally challenge the three uh, main characters who have negative strength. Well, you don't have to take the challenge. This is just a thing that's happening, you know? Like, somebody else can deal with it. Uh, Elna's well, already Garnet, asked. Like, I mean, Garnet will fuck it. If no one's volunteering, she would just try to <laughs> take a challenge. I, 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 would, I would see Cyrus, like, walking out, oiling up. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's Cyrus? Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Oh man, where is Cyrus? He's walking. He's he's in the oiling room. Yeah, <laughs> Cyrus is is more the like wiry sort of, more than anything else. Uh, he's not like ripped. He's more of a me mental sort of. Oh my god, what's happening now? All right. So first off, Untermaler has been told to deal with this. <laughs> As the resident, oh my god, chat, please, please! Utamal has been told to deal with this. Any of our main characters who wish to take this challenge may. However, you are not obligated to do so. Chattius exists. Untermaler has a wide variety of champions he can send forth to play for the Academy's honor. There may be more than one wrestling match. The main thing is... This is just another goddamn thing that's happening that the Archmages have to pay attention to or risk the consequences. Is there, like, negative clout down. if you lose? <laughs> uh, yeah, if you lose, it'll be considered a, a win in the favor of the wild court in the fairy games. Oh, this is, like, part of the score? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I volunteer someone stronger. <laughs> <laughs> I was just doing it for clout. <laughs> hey, for personal clout, uh, if you win a wrestling match with this, uh, you know, WWE Fay, people would talk about that for sure. But it's up to you if you actually want to do that or not. Well, not I mantra. <laughs> uh, I think all three of the students are like, this seems like someone else's problem. <laughs> Well, in shadow form, I get advantage on strength, dexterity, and constitution saving throws. That's going to help you escape. It's not going to help you win. Oh, I thought we were doing strength. Yeah, it's strength, but like saving. an athletics check. That's not a saving throw. It's an opposed uh, ability check. Are your strength saves still like advantage of like minus three, though? <laughs> you know, it's like, well, hold on. You're going to be so loud. <laughs> I also walk super slowly, so I was just like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the poop is made of like a fucking snail. <laughs> so, yeah, no. The freaking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would right. want to so bad, but I want us to win. So. <laughs> okay. A bunch of students start pouring forward who are like, yeah, I'll totally take that. Chatty, uh, step aside, kids. I got this. A number of contenders immediately line up. And Untermaler steps forward and says, Honored Challenger, we welcome the chance to test our strength against yours. Please tell your supporters to stop blowing up our school. And Elnau is just going to go ahead and like put her hand on your shoulder, Garnet, gesture to the rest of you and just say, let's... Okay, okay. So, Master Elnau, I had an idea. She's going to yeah. get away from the noise. Like she says, just hold on a second. It gets inside because there's hooting and hollering and cheering and stuff going on there. Shuts the door. Yes, Athelor. So um, we were talking about meta magic before, right? And how you have a very good grasp of it. You know how to extend the range of a spell, yes? Mm -hmm. So when we were in the... Silent City Fighting Merrick, I had a scroll for a fairly low-level spell that was quite useful called Vortex Warp, but you can kind of clock it up and go further, and I'm thinking that if you want to do a smash and grab, you could extend the range of your Vortex Warp in two different ways. Using both your meta magic and pouring more magic into it, you'd get like maybe 400 feet from which you could just teleport Quan through a gate, maybe. Tell me about this spell. You can just drop it in chat, by the way. You don't have yeah. to you don't have to I, do the whole I will drop it in chat. <laughs> and meanwhile, she looks over at Garnet almost, I'm not gonna say critically, but very skeptically. You really think Why? you can still reach him after everything he's done? 
after everything that you've, after everything that's happened? I don't know anything anymore. I'm, I'm conflicted and lost and extremely, extremely tired of all of this. <laughs> I'll I'll try to reach out tonight. How exactly? Just invite him over in dream. That's not safe, Garnet. The uh, uh, Herald is just waiting for a chance to pry into and find out everything that he can. Well, and now I know what's coming, and his Naomi trick won't work on me anymore. And the sage is looking after me. The sage was lucky to get away last time. Well, if it's a chance to not have all of this happen, get people killed, that's a small risk. I can just wake up if I sense him nearby, but... Hmm. No, absolutely not. I just... It's it's too big of a risk. There's Don't open that door again, okay? She's gonna look at her. <laughs> I'm not even gonna roll an inside check, she knows. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She glares susly. For a moment. Wait, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Just for funsies. Oh fuck! Mm. <laughs> 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 God, that makes so much sense. <laughs> the design. <laughs> the design. A natural one versus oh, a fifteen. Fucking Cyrus do it. Cyrus. Oh my God! She looks around. You look guilty as head. fuck. <laughs> Wrong character oh. sheet. Forgive me. I got a lot going on here. I'm gonna actually well, roll the correct Cyrus character sheet. Comes up. She lying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, you rolled a six and I got a nine. Nice. 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 Oh, okay. Stepping away from that. And Elnau is considering this vortex warp spell. I still think we need to wait until this pings again and use divination. I'll take care of all of that. I want all of you, I think now, to go back and get some rest and just prepare yourselves. This could be the turning point in all of this. If we can get something out of Quan, then maybe we can go on the offensive and not walk into another enormous trap. All right? Okay. Go get some rest. Take any precautions that you need to. We'll, we'll be preparing. The knock could come at any time, so be ready. All There's right. a roar from the uh, balcony outside and another flare of orange light as yet another fireball goes off and El now just <laughs> gotta get some rest and she's gonna walk off of the records closet with her entourage to just use the teleportation circle to get as far away from this circus as she can barring anything else that you wanted to stop her for Oh, would I ask Elno, is there a way to make the Sphere of Annihilation bigger? Monka. The size? <laughs> uh, I Maybe. Mean, I've never seen it happen before. You're the one who created it. It's possible that could expand it, but once it grows, I don't think there's any way to shrink it back down again. It just makes it more dangerous. What do you have in mind? It's probably safer than opening the pathway for the former scion of Despair's Herald to enter your mind, so I'll hear you out. I was just, you know... Your energy, your vibes right now are just off. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're, like, giving off hater energy right now. Uh, <laughs> I've got well, a lot going on, okay? Well, instead of dropping a carpet bomb, what about dropping a nuke? Uh, 
you, you, you know it hangs in the air, right? It's not affected by gravity. We, we can't drop it. Well, I can drop it with my mind, with our minds. Assuming that it doesn't follow you. It's, it's possible. How would we deploy that? Would we just erase? Who, who would you want to use this on? The city. Blow it up. The entire, uh, the entire city. I... Yeah. How big of a sphere do you want to create? A big one. Oh, God. I just don't think right, that. I'll sleep on that. You know, I'll sleep on this. Okay. She's you about to say yes, and then she remembers what you were going to sleep about, and then she just. <laughs> uh, Sage, Sage, and she'll she'll walk off. Okay. Oh. You know what they say, dream big. Exactly. No, do yes. not do that. Bigger. Yeah, dream, dream of massive kill counts. <laughs> if you are going to leave it small, however, maybe. Send it down whatever hole they're focusing that light down. Probably something important down there to the infernals. I was just trying to do like a Zamboni motion through the city. I, you know what that is, right? It's like the... I don't know what a Zamboni is. Also, <laughs> Harry doesn't know what a Zamboni is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was like, thank you. Are... We don't know what nukes are either, so I appreciate somebody staying. Oh, right. Never mind. S snow bulldozer. <clears throat> oh. But kind of, but like you know, a plow. Yeah, we'll just throw a snow plow through the city with Boyd. <laughs> oh, what could go wrong? Well, that sounds like a truly reprehensible act. Wizards in war times. Let's hope it works out. Um, I think that I might still be able to get some mileage out of this scry hopping. Uh, Mantra, could you do me one of those circles? Yeah, of course. Here or back in your room? I I guess we'll just hang out in our rooms for now. Okay. Did we have anything to prepare? Garna, did you have anything to do? Do you need to check in with Una? Oh, uh, yeah. No, Una's returned, leave. I imagine, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Una got oh, out good. safely. Not really much. Cool. So, short rest for you. Get all of that innovation back. And I'll... Okay, that's a. I, I sense there's a weird energy there about me saying the word short rest. Oh, uh, you, are we doing the sleeping arrangements? Yeah. Just for tonight? Maybe two nights? Maybe until sure. Alex is gone? As, as long as you need until Alex isn't coming into your dreams, yes. Thanks. And uh, <laughs> Ethel looks at like she calls her all like, and beyond then? <laughs> so, I don't know what to say. The Sorry. vibes. Hmm. Uh, Matra circle, please. Yep. Circling. <laughs> and she gets the runes and draw them on the ground and boom, circle mental blessing. And uh, are you all in Athlor's room or Garnet's room right now? Probably We're all in a collective course. room. Pick pick a room. The uh, what room are y'all in? Well, let's go in the loot room so they can play with a weird internal sword. <laughs> oh great! <laughs> yeah. Sick. Okay, Sick. can I get perception checks from all of you, please? Uh oh. I see it all. Natural twenty. <laughs> she comes in and we oh. all see it. Most yeah. useless natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few books on the shelf that were not here the last time. Uh -oh. Only I guess. <laughs> uh, taking a closer look at the spines, no. None of them seem to be written by Mr. B.L. Fagor or any other barely disguised uh, translations of Infernal's names. They all They all seem to be war weaves and collective magic casting and principles of arcane bombardment as exemplified by the third minotaur conflict uh war book a lot of college of war books actually i pick them up and i look inside the cover to see if there's a name roll dexterity like saving throw please <laughs> oh, don't <no>. touch it <laughs> yikes lucky dice oh no 
<laughs> Ten. Wait, what oh. is the mental circle? How? Ooh. It does Never not. Mind. A natural not twenty. Okay. Not. As you open the book, something leaps out directly towards you. You got a natural twenty, so you can decide if you catch it, knock it aside, dodge out of the way. What happens? Athelor slams the book and catches whatever at the back. Is it whatever's on the back half of it? Okay. It squeezes and explodes in both directions in a spray of ice cream. Wait, what? Uh, fuck! This, this better be vanilla. <laughs> Who the fuck it, was it in is your in fact room? vanilla. This is not cool. More fave shenanigan stuff? What? what? We basically have PTSD. There's bombs going off post Boreas. Now people are breaking into our rooms, opening books. Last time I op I touched anything, I died. So that was an item of mysterious origin. Have, do they not know what we've been through? I don't think they care. I'm tired. What is it? <laughs> I I'm going to really sheepishly open it away from me first. Just like open it towards the wall. Well, there was only the one. Uh ice cream pie in there. I thought it opens the other ones towards the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and is there any name in the first page? No, like this was checked out by this person. Um but roll an investigation check for me, please. <gasps> what the hell? Okay. Uh, natural okay. twenty. Ah, you are an enormous nerd. Uh, so you've recognized these come I from the, the library of the Tower of War, what, where grad students would be studying. And they're not supposed to be checked out <clears throat> or removed. Huh. Do we know anyone in the Tower of War apart from Master and Tomorrow? Where does, where does that loser in study? He's still an undergrad. <sighs> is inspecting the rest of the room for traps or weird any signs of who was in here she's so like mm. someone broke in here this is a trap it's time to this look for clues shit. <laughs> <laughs> roll an investigation check for me please a 16 bunch of old help okay also roll an investigation check we'll take the higher of the two. Oh, okay not higher and you actually got the exact same dice roll, too. You, you both rolled <laughs> yeah. a, a natural eight. Okay. Uh, the only thing that you notice, Garnet, is just like little touches of frost. <clears throat> just the barest remnants of frost underneath where the books were. Oh, no. No. Uh, no uh, wait, is this having Herald vibes of no. frost origin? No, 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 no. no. This oh, isn't okay. black ice. This is not Agathisian ice. You will forever pay for what you have done, Garnet. I will punish you with ice cream pies. What? This oh, is an amateur hour. I'm st <laughs> No, that was- You get drunk over here. I'm seated <laughs> up with this shit. I'm going to bed. Fuck this. <laughs> I don't want to go to bed, actually. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. What, while the they're wall. investigating the ice, Apple's mm -hmm. looking under the floorboard to see if the uh, Thynian sword is still there. Yes, it is still there. What? Anyone's birthday? Anyone? Any occasions? Probably somebody. <laughs> Someone I'm... was born somewhere, indeed. <laughs> Very Truth confused. I'm gonna flick through the books and see if they're they're annotated copies. They are not. So no real identifiers on these. They. are from the Tower of War, they're not supposed to be checked out. Uh, Garner, can we quickly go and see if someone's been in your room? Okay. <laughs> Slowly goes over to the room. Is there anything different in my room? <laughs> yes, with a sharp eye. Now, you know how when people are traumatized, they become hyper vigilant? <laughs> There are several books of a by different authors, but all on similar, you know, war magic, counter spells, uh, all sorts of titles. Several of them have, in fact, been placed onto your desk. 
Don't open that. <laughs> he says, helpfully. Oh, in a safe he location. Says that she opens the book towards Athlor's face. <laughs> <laughs> splat! Oh, Actually, maybe well, splat, but we'll see. A three. Splat! <laughs> Ah, oh, Athelor goes to grab one and I put it at her. All right, identify it, huh? Huh? What's it taste like? Garnet. French vanilla? Garnet roll it next to Identify these! Bro. Identify these! <laughs> uh, Did you guys want me to roll something? Sorry. Yeah, roll a deck saving throw. Just to see who oh. has the upper hand in this. In this ice cream. Okay, yeah, okay. You, you dodge. Athelor is left with, you know, splat. Monster's just laughing at these dumbasses. <laughs> Hey, what's so funny? <laughs> no, stop, no. <laughs> I thought I'd lose the one book there. <laughs> is this supposed to be helpful or nice? The the first page is all ice creamed up. Uh, it's okay, it's only a preface. No one cares what the author has to say. I do. No one reads those things. You read the I preface? I do. <laughs> We, we we read very different books. Yours eat you afterwards. True. <laughs> Probably need to True. read the preface for those. <laughs> preface of the those. Book of Seosh is literally just uh, instructions on how not to use it and die. <laughs> Under no <laughs> circumstances, why we read it. <laughs> press this to your face and say the word alone in void speech. It is the worst thing you could do. Hmm. I didn't read that part. Exactly. <laughs> <I'm not gonna> <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Well, I feel delicious. Do you, you want to don't rest? look it. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Ouch. Wow. That's... It's been a day, huh? It has been a day. I don't <laughs> like that someone was in my room. Can we address the elephant in the room that someone was in my room without permission? Yeah, Mine we've ad ad we've addressed it. I we don't know who, and without note? like the sage coming in and doing a that big thing, I don't know how we can figure it out either. Oh, why don't you ask to see if anyone saw something? Like I'm requesting a locks change immediately. <laughs> it's just okay. It's I'm gonna... like writing a letter, a strongly worded letter to the wardens. <laughs> Additional security measures. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I do a calligraphy. We have one. A calligraphy tools check with intelligence, please, Garnet. <laughs> Go ahead, okay. Athelor. Athelor pops over back into his room to find the the book on collective spell casting. Mm. Have a quick peruse to see if there's anything you could do to augment the sage's magic with meta magic. Okay. Well, it is a form that's. Sometimes been referred to as uh, Elven High Magic, as it was originally an Alfar art, and it does a powerful mage can create a collective field that other mages can then contribute their energies to. It's not usually taught to undergrads; it's something that you learn once you become a full fledged mage. Uh, and I will send you the appropriate PDF supplement after the adventure. Pong. So are these actual useful books? Or None of them have spells in them. They all have like lore and information all about war magic. Some of them definitely are potentially useful, um, but they don't have like automatic mechanical effects just yet. Oh, so did you, did you want to rest Garnet after you've written the world's angriest ice cream incent letter? It's just angry writing and signs off and... Closes the letter and hands it off to the closest warden, walks in and hands you the pile of books from her room. Well, get to reading, Mr. War Magic Major. Right? You're in his class, right? Yeah. Yeah. There, I you am. get ahead. Thanks. For all the classes we don't have. I was planning on getting ahead of uh, the designer city thing. But all right, then you, you can put it down. <laughs> He puts the books down sheepishly on his desk and sort of like... Good toilet material. Then. Just uh, snugs up to the desk, puts down the board. You know, you know when you sort of like rotate it in place, just like as if you're creating a little groove in the desk where it would sit. Right. You gotta okay, like get out the measuring board. tape and measure the distance from your desk edge to your keyboard. Put that mouse yeah, pad at an angle. Ergonomics. And uh, 
I guess for a while, Athelor's just going to go back to the gate and see if it opens. Okay. Athelor's scrying. What is Mason doing? After all, the, the dust settles and you've got your circle of mental blessing set up, you may need to, I don't know if you need to stand there for a while to maintain it. How long does that last? Uh, it lasts for 30 seconds. Um, and... That's not a long time. No, it's not a mm. long time. Uh, can cast it, I mean, four, three, three, uh, ten times, I guess, technically. <laughs> I, I wouldn't use all the spell slots. You'll only just use it when we get there the first time in case there's, like, some kind of ward set up. Mm -hmm. Mind poison waiting for you. All right, so at the very least, at first, you're working on that. Garnet, what are you doing? Are you trying to establish mental contact? Are you taking a short rest? What's the plan? Oh, yeah, prepping for bed. Mm-hmm. Little pajama, put your hair up, snuggle with Una Angle. Ah, we love the cat. <laughs> <laughs> In cat form, of course, because cats are cute, snuggly, and hopefully help me sleep better. <laughs> <laughs> Every ball, just stacking up all the sleep buffs. Uh, the not the woven knot work with amethysts hanging from it, I assume, is still dangling above your bed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, at least I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, nobody touched it. It's not gone. I'll, I'll go okay. that far. Not tampered. Not tampered. Okay. Athelor, it's going to take you a while to do your thing. Mason, how long are you sticking around? I guess so. Uh, you would ask, um, do you need me around past the circle or? Uh, no, if you want to go and hang out with Sventisco, that'll be fine. I can hear enough that if Garna gets disturbed in her sleep, I can snap out of this. Okay, you sure? Yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. Um, okay. Yeah, once I've done this, hopefully we can pass this orb over to you and we can use it for whatever happens with Kepesk. Yeah. Thanks, by the way, just for helping with that. It means a lot. Oh, you're welcome. I, I, uh, I like finding out the truth, I suppose. Oh, Athos frowns after saying that, like, oh, no. <laughs> Just remembering, like, the, the Herald spiel before. It's like, oh, no. It's <laughs> kind trying to fall asleep. She's just like... <laughs> the Herald's influence grows larger. <laughs> Despair really never dies. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I've just it's been a long day. I'll probably head back towards uh Ironland, but just call if you need anything. I will do. Thank you. And Mantra's going to go do something stupid. <laughs> Yay, stupid. Oh, one of us, one of us. <laughs> and um is on the way to his room, going to go towards that same bathroom with that same mirror. They saw the initial Kepes stuff in mm -hmm. and very slowly walk in there, looking down, make sure there's a bump in anything, but then very slowly looks up to where he just sees a little bit of the mirror from his like peripheral vision mm -hmm. and see if anything looks weird or off or mm -hmm. anything. Roll a flat wisdom check for me, please. Wisdom check. 21. 21, okay. As you're looking, oh, everything looks normal. Nothing's out of position. Although, maybe your eyes are faster than they ought to be. Like you move and the reflection moves, but there's just the slightest bit of delay. I'm sure it looks like directly at the mirror now upon mm -hmm. the peripheral noticing that and it's like frowning and walks a little bit closer to it, trying mm -hmm. to make like sudden random movements to see if it's consistent. Mm -hmm. It is consistent. It's just a thought behind you. Like, 
goes to take another step closer and then mm -hmm. decides against it. I would just like watches for a bit. Mm -hmm. And if nothing else happens, then would leave and go back towards his room. Roll an insight check. For... Okay. 18. What emotion is Mantra feeling right now? Uh, very nervous, very anxious, is mm -hmm. like curious. Mm -hmm. He's been thinking a lot about mirrors and stuff in the relation that what like, he would have with Mirror Keeper and why he got shown this like Kepes thing where, mm -hmm. where all it stems from from when he was like young and it's like there's something and he's just like feeling like he wants to know more but it's yeah very mm -hmm. nerve-wracking. Are you feeling at all disappointed? Because your reflection looks so just a little <laughs> Tiny, tiny bit. Just a flicker of disappointment. The reflection does? Mm -hmm. Just for a moment. Okay. Just for a blink of an eye. When you decide not to step forward. Fuck. That's weird. Weird, 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 weird. Oh no. Okay, that's bad. Watch it. Stops looking at the mirror, leaves. Okay. That's, that ain't it. <laughs> nope, 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 uh, nope. Uh, uh. All right. Garnet, what are you doing? Sleeping. Okay. Falling asleep. Okay. And then just sleeping and just having a nice peaceful night. It's going to remember what the sage said about like bumping up dream <clears throat> realms, and, like doing a little knocky knock. Mm -hmm. and seeing if Alex would like to chat. Okay. Roll a... First off, a flat intelligence check. <laughs> Garnet would like to invite you to a Zoom call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A nine is good enough for you to recognize that, you're not a, that you are dreaming, rather than oh, okay. just sitting there and like being awake and waiting for yourself to fall asleep and not realizing that you've been asleep and that you're just dreaming about boring nothing. Okay. okay. Now, roll intelligence, wisdom, or charisma to depart effectively, almost, but not quite, depart one dreamscape for another. Or like, am I leaving mine or just trying to invite someone in? You're, you're trying to invite someone in, which is a little more complicated. Okay. Okay. And roll it one more time for me, please. Gets better. Okay. Um, it feels really difficult. Like walking through really deep mud or like getting out of an incredibly cozy bed. And you realize... Everything within, inside your own mind, totally fine. You can drift, you can float, you can change things. It's, it's very uh, empowering, very freeing in a way. But whenever you try to strive up against that barrier, there's something at the edge that is just difficult to push through or change in any way. But you are able to sort of drift and push. You feel like you're moving your entire mind. Rolling it like a hamster ball. If Alexander is asleep, then he would be aware of Garnet's presence, almost as if he woke up and she was in the room next door. And he just suddenly knew it. Not inside his mind, but close at hand, on his mind, just around the flickering edges of consciousness. Close enough to be able to uh, accept the Zoom invite? 
<laughs> yeah. Boo, 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 yeah. Boo. You'd have there's boo, there's boo, boo, boo. <laughs> yes, kind of cool. there's an incredibly thick again like a curtain of of mud or a really heavy waterfall that is a lot more difficult than the last times that you've been here. If it wasn't for the fact that she was sort of thinning it out and parting the way, you would have be incredibly hard pressed. But yeah, there's there's just the slightest gap right there. It's going to try to call out to him just mm -hmm. on a first name basis first. And he see if there's an answer. Hear it as if from far away through a uh, closet with a wall full of blankets that somebody hung up to give themselves soundproofing because they can't afford the squares. <laughs> I feel like it's almost as if, you know, it's like the last ring of the, of, of the Skype call and uh, I don't know whether he's going to answer or not. But Alex picks up and mm -hmm. whatever way it kind of materializes into uh, or in its dreamscape, I guess. How does, how, how does that like? How does Alexander want to appear and what is inside Garnet's dreamscape right now. One of you decides one, one of you decides the other. Probably just avoid just mm -hmm. nothingness, however mm -hmm. you want to imagine that. The only thing she's focused on is trying to reach Alex so she doesn't mm -hmm. spare any details to the rest. I imagine the void is like the Photoshop transparency layer. <laughs> Just the, just the, the squares. The <laughs> I think it starts just out of the void of nothingness, slowly, as if like an eye is opening, a green eye will appear and look around and land on Garnet. And then very quickly, the rest of him just kind of comes to be. And stands, stands there and just stares at Garnet. We'll like give him his space, kind of like, and put her hands up in a way of not meaning any harm, but giving him space as he comes up, however, wherever he is. And we'll say, uh, need to speak with you alone. I don't want speak. any interference. You... I understand why you hate me, and you can... You can hate me for pulling the trigger, but you should know who put the gun in my hand. Um, I mean, during the hours and days and years that I spent in that darkness, um, hoping and seething someone had killed you before I could, that I could just make you suffer the twist your spirit the way you tore mine, um, actually got presented a better option. One that would cost me as much as it cost you. But at that point, I was willing to pay anything to hurt you. Um, a friend of yours paid me a visit, kind of was enjoying my pain and loneliness so much, but instead of killing you, the Herald convinced me that you hold Naomi closer than you do your own life, and that she was the key to delivering that unrelenting despair upon you. And I was really excited to do anything that involved hurting you. I didn't really think twice about the ripples that it would cause because you never hesitated with me. But then when I woke up or returned, I, Ariana felt so strongly about saving Naomi. I was kind of reminded about that kindness, that shred of humanity. Other lives didn't need to be crushed because of you, but that all changed when I actually met Naomi for the first time in person. 
She was the same age, Alex. She was the same age as you left her in the mirror. Isn't that strange? That a mirror clone never emerged? Isn't it strange that she never aged? You're not going to like the answer, Alex, because the mirror keeper doesn't keep pets. Keeps contingencies. She was used as a promise if you obeyed or blackmail if you didn't. But regardless of what you choose, or Alex, he wasn't. He was never going to keep keep you or her alive. And he doesn't work with anyone. He only manipulates and rules. And in his eyes, there are no allies, and there are no equals. So and isn't it so strange? All of your allies are lying to you all the time, Alex. So strange that the serpent knew all about this, about Naomi, and never told you? Or is it so strange that the machine prince pretends to be an infernal? All of them lie to you, Alex. Well, in the moment of almost losing Ariana, arguably by your will, and you experiencing something so similar to what I did, I, I just couldn't figure out if I hated you enough to, to still kill her, to hurt you, or if I cared enough to, to spare you from all of that, to not let the Mirror Keeper manipulate you into some submission. But regardless, she couldn't continue in the realm of the living and not under the strings of the Mirror Keeper or, or you. But I, I, I made sure it was painless and I stayed by her side to make sure. But she's not lost, Alex. Not yet. What do you mean? Well, you, you could resurrect her with the Book of Dawn, Alex. <laughs> I mean, that's the magic of creation, but you need my help to do that. Do I? Soul is well scattered in the underworld, but in the infinite space, the realm of everything and nothing at all. Uh, void magic, shadow magic can find the fragments. I can help you bring her back. I can find, absorb the fragments, <laughs> help you prepare the vessel, and all you need is the dawn magic to piece her back together and breathe her, breathe in a new life. You sit here and tell me how everyone's lying to me, and you expect me to believe that you're the one telling the truth. Where... where is the lie? <laughs> That's the question, isn't it? You're cunning in your own right. I'm not asking you to forgive me, but I'm presenting you an option where we can all live and you can be with Naomi. The price? I mean, the Infernals, the Despairs, Harold, they all want us to tear each other apart. We are, you and I, are what's standing between life and the end of existence. Who wants that? And you can't be with Naomi if the world ends. So the price that I ask said, I want the book, and, book of Dawn in exchange. You wanted power? I will make you a master of the void. You talk about having nothing, lacking power. The void does just this. It uses the emptiness of the soul to achieve anything. Us learning under El now gets us closer to the book of Dawn, and we could be potential successors of IOP Academy. We could do this the right way. I'm not asking you to forgive me. I just want an option where the world doesn't have to end. Why do you think I wanted Naomi back? You care deeply about her? I did. For a while. For a long while. And then... Well, 
well. Many things changed. Bringing her back. It wouldn't have been as it was before. Why not? Like you said. She didn't age. She was exactly as she was when I had last seen her. But I'm so much different. Goals, so much different. Sound like a part of you knew. It wasn't all about a long lost childhood friend with Naomi. Part of you seems like knew that I wanted her for something more. Some of my plans, my grand scheme where everyone's lying to me and perhaps I'm lying to them as well. Perhaps you're lying to me. We're all just out here lying, trying to be just a bit better than everybody else. I don't want anything to do with your void magic, your help, or anything of the sort. Do not take pity on me because you assume what I lost means a great deal different than what it actually does. Are you so lost that you don't care about Naomi? Do you care about anything anymore? Of course. I care a great deal, actually. It's a shame you can't see that. I was trying to help you survive this. We'll see who survives in the end, Garnet. Then live in this despair, this fragility, this desperation, Alex. You were just, you were once brilliant. You were once a strong man. And you choose to be lied to, manipulated, and killed off like scrap. Then the void is what truly is living in your brain. You have 24 hours to change your mind and make your own decision. If you truly want to be in control of everything, because right now you are not. You talk of desperation. I look at you. I'm here still trying to care at least. I can see how you confuse the two. said you, you can change your mind and we can bring Naomi back but <sighs> having power over the void just means that I, I see through the lines that the realms, the voids, reality if you don't consider this option carefully I will make sure that not only is Naomi's soul not found, it ceases to exist and you too one day <laughs> Well, that's the bit I've been looking forward to. Fine. I didn't think you had it, didn't you? Admittedly. About Naomi. It's a lot to consider. And it wasn't easy. Nothing about any of this is easy for me. Just tired of all of this and I want this to end. But you'd rather cease to exist to deal with your problems than, than just move past it and grow from it. I've grown a great deal and I will continue to. And you are as well. Albeit differently. 
That's something you never understood, Garnet. The fact that there's more than one way to do something. It's always your way or the wrong way. But that's not how the world works, Garnet. Then what are you getting out of all of this? Why are you... What could be so good that you're exchanging your existence and your life for, and even Naomi, even all of your friends? What is so worth it to you? If I recall correctly, you're the one that exchanged Naomi. I was going to bring her back. She was a bargaining chip that your little friends were waving it above your head. I just took it in my hand. And killed her, yes. They were going to as well. If anything, I freed her from the Mirror Keeper. You would want her trapped in the Mirror Realm forever? You'd want to have Naomi's life above your head at all times? I can bring her back. This was the whole point. To free her from them so that we could work this out. No, I think I can bring her back, Garnet. You said you could locate her soul, but you need me and the Book of Dawn to bring her back. The Void can find her. You yes. will not. And we'll make sure that you do not. This is the deal. Sure. And I might not. That's okay. I don't know why I try anymore, Garnet, with you. Giving you an option where you could live and we could all have this forgiven and moved on and back to peace. Is that not what you want, is peace? <laughs> Why else would you bring Naomi back if not to bring back some shred of humanity that if you have any left? There's far more than you realize. Maybe one day you'll understand it, but I don't think you're ready yet. Then make me understand. <laughs> I think you know. I've already told you. I think everything that you need to understand in terms of where my life has headed, where I have taken it, where I have created these opportunities, and yes, the Infernals have their goals. I have mine. And you have yours. And we're all maybe going to die tomorrow. Maybe going to find a way to live forever. Who fucking knows? The difference is... I have a better chance of figuring it out than you do. When you're done being lied to and manipulated, maybe even killed off before your goals happen. Maybe you'll figure out there was a better option. Perhaps. But I don't think that to be the case. Well, you're not as smart as I thought you were. <laughs> Don't worry, Garnet. I won't be as petty. I'll give you the credit. I think you're very smart. Well, the Infernals are going to keep pinning us against each other. So we shall continue our dance until the only things that people that could take out the Infernals are going to be dead. So, enjoy trying to end existence for everything and everyone. Congratulations. Hope your goals are worth it.
<laughs> they are. And I think with that, Alex will uh, depart. Leaving Garnet alone with her own thoughts. Meanwhile, in the waking world, a vigilant Athalor keeps an eye out over his friend, Garnet, watching for any sign of mental assault or strife that may betray beneath her flickering eyelids as she delves into the depths of dream. His ears listening out for any, si any sound of distress, one hand upon the crystal ball, gazing upon the comings and goings of the great city of Diphraxis. And as the sun has set over the horizon in the west, and the light that was channeled and captured and dragged beneath the very earth itself fades, new light burns from below, red, hot, and molten. A thundering of the ground, thick clouds of acid smoke that rise forth, make him grateful, perhaps, that there is no smell of vision on the crystal ball, because that stuff is rank. Waiting for inch by inch, going closer and closer, waiting for that moment where he can go inside and get eyes on that teleportation circle. At last, the enormous golems on either side lift the titanic iron bar up and over. The enormous doors begin to swing open. And as he focuses himself to gaze within, and discern the truth of the teleportation circle, a voice rings out in his mind, a voice he has not heard for five years. Beloved son, prouder am I to claim you as my own today than when you first were born. Come show me what you've learned. You can reply to this message. Do I, I, 25 words, right? 25 words. Father, I intend to arrive home in due time. My studies will make me the greatest heir of the Alpha. Love, your son. There is no further response. It seems there was only one casting of that third level spell slot today. That being said, give me a perception check and an arcana check to analyze this teleportation circle. Oh yeah, right. While it is active. Arcana. Boom. I'm going to use my raid inspiration. Yep, yep, raid inspiration 24 from an 11 to a 24 and give me a perception as well for both staring at it and nine. Might as well use my lucky dice. We're just out from the long rest anyway. Send it. <laughs> Send it. Use the resources, baby. 11. <laughs> well, luck does stack with... See, do, 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 do. No, yeah, there's there's actually no inspiration. All the inspiration is, is for anyone who wanted to wrestle with Scrofin. So, yeah. sorry about that. All right, you get a very good grasp of as much of it as... Okay, there's your inspiration. It just arrived. Boom, you wanna... Let's see it, baby. 12. Let's go. <laughs> 12. Okay, between a 24 and a 12, that averages out to an 18. So, yeah. You immediately, as you're focusing, like you're looking at it in one hand and the, the quill floats up and dips into your ink and starts scribing it on a piece of paper next to you and you copy it exactingly. Well done. You now have a teleportation circle that leads directly into the heart of Diphraxis. I was looking to see if it had like the any return coordinates on it. So I assume it's like a one for one. Well, yeah, the way that the teleportation spell works is uh you draw like you, you take a flat featureless piece of ground right uh -huh. you draw the circle you want to go to on that ground cast a spell 
for one round, it's active, and anyone who steps on it emerges on the other side. So all teleportation circles are just beacons, anchors, waypoints you can travel to with the fifth level spell cast. So can I scry on this teleportation circle and someone has to walk into it to draw the teleportation circle to go back? So if somebody wanted to say... Because teleportation so I, circles I, are... Go ahead. Yeah, because I get confused. It seems like in IELTS Academy, they're like hubs. That, like mm -hmm. you teleport from one to the they other. They have them set up as permanent hubs. Okay. There. But most of them, if you have the coordinates, you can cast a spell and go to that location. But unless it's set up like magically, you can't bounce around for convenience sake. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Effectively, what IOF Academy has is in each of those chambers, there's a teleportation circle there, and there's a stored spell effect there that you can activate like a scroll that will deploy the teleportation circle of your choice as long as it's one of the ones stored for IOF Academy. So they've got two things set up. However, when the great doors close with them, they seal off the area from extra dimensional access and it lays a private sanctum over it. So you're able to scry on the room when the doors are open, but not when the doors shut. Hmm. Okay. But that was long enough for you to see the inside and to notice that there are many guards, mechanical constructs watching over it at all times. Nice. I did the Defraxis teleportation circle to the inventory. Excellent. Excellent. <clears throat> oh, man. Okay. Have I dropped every single plot line I wanted to drop today? I think I have. I think I have. Okay. So, does anyone have anything else that they want to happen in the night? I guess just sleep in shifts with Garnet. Okay. Well, once she wakes up, uh, Athelor mm -hmm. goes into Trancy Town and he's like, I can, if you're curious about using that, I can disattune from it, and you can keep around for the night. Really? How long does it take to I think it takes it? like an hour. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Uh, Athalor decouples himself from the orb and mm -hmm. just leaves it on the desk and then <laughs> shuffles off. He, he sits on her bed, just like, crosses his legs and then just, you know. Mm-hmm. Very obvious that he's gone into a trance. All right. And when he's trancing, he keeps walking the memory of Quan here to note the things about the Fraxis mm. that might be worth double taking on. Is there anything that's down that hole, etc., that might have been noticed? Mm -hmm. at All right. If slash when we go there, you will have a little bit of prior map knowledge. Nice. Garner, what you scrying? And I want to check in on Mason as well. Peaceful night otherwise, aside from, you know, weird mirror stuff. Uh only other thing would probably be checking to see if his and Valvrax's room was tampered with at all as well. I I don't I don't remember if your room was tampered with. I'm sure I'll get an answer shortly. <laughs> okay. Uh, but if it was, you would notice it would be yeah, no, your 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 room is clear. Nobody put cool. uh nobody put those books and ice cream pies in your in your room. Alright, dope. All right. So, Garnet, what you have uh, a couple of hours to work with the crystal ball. What do you want to do with it? Oh, who's fun? To Cyrus, 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 Cyrus. I know. I'm like, in the shower, in the shower. <laughs> fun fact Google every single. Balls. <laughs> fun <laughs> fact most areas of the academy are shielded against scrying. When you Ooh. have adolescence Fine. for century, when you raise like generations and generations of adolescence, you, you learn a thing or two. I think she wants something to cheer her up a little bit. She'd like to scry back home and see what uh, her mom and Pavam are up to. They're probably sleeping, but at least are they sleeping soundly or what's the dealio? Well, your Seeing mother's. Them. Your mother's chambers seem to be affected by a private sanctum spell. They've got their own Dude. magic, you know. Well, that's good, I guess. And a head of <laughs> a, a head of their army who got a, who there was an attempted assassination on. So there's that. <clears throat> uh, Pevom, on the other hand, is up 
and sort of walking the balconies of the the ziggurats of the Phoenix Knight citadels and looking out across the red brick ziggurats and walls of the city of Brantha and the, the golden caps that are on some of the buildings that were shine brilliantly with the light during the day and the many tiered marketplaces and the countless steps and aqueducts of the city at night as the celestial lights flow overhead with light cloud cover and he has his sword his sword made from the bones of a flying serpent and he has a uh so it's lying there and he's got it on a a, a white cloth embroidered with holy prayers to Zalar and a couple of vials of sacred oil that he has probably made himself and he's just sitting there with it on a balcony at night and he looks out over the city at the fifth temple that was raised there the first stone of which was set down the day that you were born and that was meant to be raised out of gratitude for the miracle of your birth, the miracle that saved them all those years ago before you vanished. Aww. Yeah, you just lost in thought. What a cutie. Well, well, it's also, scry on Cyrus, because why, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus is in a uh, private sanctum area because, again, adolescence. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I, yeah. right. Your, your dorm is probably... Yeah, sure, people can break in and prank it, but God forbid that they peep in. Then, I don't know. We'll probably just uh, look at Pavlom in an odd, creepy way for a while to mm. uh, have good vibes until okay. Athelor wakes up. You are interrupted in the night by a knock at the door. Opens the door quietly. It is Chattius, the warden. He looks beat to hell. <laughs> Did you get my letter? Did you get my letter? What? <laughs> I'm here uh, to change the locks. <laughs> <laughs> are you here to change the locks? Uh, no. Is there something wrong with them? Are they broken? You know, that's usually more of a caretaker thing, right? What's wrong with your face? I'm, no, it's the law. Someone broke it in my room. Can you get Look. this changed? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get right on that. Look, I, I have to go in. I, I'm on round three out of four with that four guy, and uh, I'm not going to let take this line down, but I'm supposed to let you know uh, that you and he sort of points. He can't point all the way in because you're blocking the door, but like with his he's not wearing his armor either by the way and his his shoulder has got wrapping around it like it's you know been knocked around a bit you and uh you and uh the other one or their uh archmage says she's gonna kill somebody oh right now oh uh, yeah okay uh like so looks over at athlor that's still trancing or whatever and you can finish your long rest like this will be near the end of your long rest Hooray! Oh, okay. We'll uh, wipe some blood or whatever off his face and cast a healing hand on him. You Go. you hear his uh, joints popping and such. Ah! Hey, oh, thank that you. That sounds terrible. That's much better. Great. Oh, okay. You owe me. Yeah, says in sure. A sarcastic way. <laughs> New locks. Got it. Um, New locks. Anyways, you, you, you go deal with the killing. I'm going to go show this. <clears throat> What's for? Right. Did he say killing? Oh, right. Get oh, it. good morning. Hi. New lock soon. Good. Want to go see a murder? New locks, new corpses, everything's coming up, Garnet. Woo! And that's a closing line if ever I heard one. So thank you, everybody, <laughs> for joining us on Book of Dawn, IAP Academy. Uh, for those of you who are participating in our community uh, roleplay project, Yes, you will have the opportunity to wrestle the boar person during the course of the next week. So stay tuned, stay in the Discord, stick around, and we will see you next time on Book of Dawn, I Have Academy.